Algebra 1, 6.1a, factoring polynomials. Factoring monomials. How many factors can we list that have 16 for a product? 1 and 16, even a negative 1 and a negative 16. 2 and 8, or a negative 2 and a negative 8. And 4 times itself, or a negative 4 times a negative 4. That makes a positive 16. We can do the same thing with the monomials. How many monomials can we list that have 16a to the fourth power as a product? All of the ones that we did for 16 would work, wouldn't it? And because the product rule of exponents says that we can add exponents, we can break the exponents up to 1a and a to the third power, or use an a to the second power with an a to the second power to make that a to the fourth power, couldn't we, with the 2 and the 8? Well, actually, there are 26 different ways that we can get 16a to the fourth power as a product. With all these positive numbers and terms, we could do negatives and get a positive 16a to the fourth power. If we count all the possible combinations with negatives and positives, there's going to be 26 different ways. These are all factorizations of 16a to the fourth power. Now remember, the commutative property lets us multiply in any order. So we can't use 1 times 16 and 16 times 1 as different factors. They're the same. It's a 1 and a 16. And factoring is the reverse of multiplying. We take one expression and open it up as two or more expressions. To factor a monomial, we find two monomials whose product equals that monomial. So here's the difference between multiplying and factoring. These are the factors. And these are, this is the product. And now here's the product and here's the factors. So see how it's the reverse? Multiplying goes to a product. Factoring comes from a product. See that? Remember, the product rule of exponents tells us to add exponents when multiplying their bases. That's why we can have a squared and a squared to be an a to the fourth power. And there's going to be a link in this video for that, OK? If you're a regular subscriber, I'm sure you've heard it many times. We can find factorizations of terms or expressions by thinking of the expression as the product. 12x squared could be 3x times 4x. 3 times 4 is 12, and x times x is x squared. We could even do 2x times 6x, or an x times a 12x. That would give us the x squared for the 12x squared. We could even do negative 3x times negative 4x. And there's actually many, many more that we could list if we wanted to factor 15x squared y, we could do 3x times 5xy. We could do negative 3x times negative 5xy. That would give us a positive 15x squared y. We could do a negative x times a negative 15xy. We could also do 5x times 3xy. And these, the bottom one and the top one are not the same because of the variables. Depending on what the variables stand for, these are two completely different numbers. In the next video, 6.1b, we're going to factor terms with a common factor. Remember, a factor is really just a divisor. And the greatest common factor is the greatest common divisor. If you want to have a link to the product rule of exponents to watch it real quick or to go over the commutative property of multiplication, there's going to be a link in this video, OK? So I'll see you next video when we talk about factoring terms with a common factor. And I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you there. Bye.